Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. I am Tom and where the hell am I going? Genuinely selected a job here. You'll see it in a moment. Uh, this doesn't feel like the right way out to me. Third exit all the way around. Uh, yeah. Took it with a little bit too aggressive. A speed going around there. Okay then, off we go. Uh, I do not know how far we have to go. 11 miles, fantastic. I've picked a particularly long job this time. Uh, I did check beforehand to ensure that I had had plenty of sleep. Right, second exit. All oh, the traffic seems to be static there, frozen. Fantastic, brilliant. Okay, so what's happened recently? What's happened yesterday, I think? I think this happened yesterday. There's, uh, the, there's been a massive leak for Grand Theft Auto 6, okay? Placing you in the timeline. In fact, actually, well, this will go up tomorrow, so uh, it'll have been two days ago by the time this goes live. And I was planning to talk about something else entirely on this video, but I think... Oh, I think we're going to have to talk about that leak instead, because it is huge news. And it's a game that a lot of people, including myself, have been waiting for for a while. In fact, I've been thinking about... I have been thinking about featuring GTA 5 on the channel, modded a little bit. Let me show you this job that we've uh, picked. This one here. From Stavanger in Norway down to Varna in Bulgaria. Pretty big journey, 1,820 miles. And also very, very urgent. I think, I think that should be fine because we are... Uh, we're working from a position of having had sleep recently. Oh no, which one is it? That one. Brilliant, okay. I assume we have to get it out the same way we came in as well. It's urgent, but we've got... Almost 2,000 miles to cover. I don't know how many sleeps that uh, equates to, but... The lights are being good to us. That's fantastic. And then at the road, what do we do? Uh, why have you stopped now? Off we go. So yeah, the GTA 6 leak, it looks obviously unfinished. And I want to talk about the response to it on Twitter as well, because A lot of people don't seem to have any clue how um, how game development works at all and have been shocked and surprised to see this leaked footage in an unfinished state. Which of course is. I think it's provided a fascinating look behind the scenes and I think it's terribly sad for the people at Rockstar whose hard work is being shown off in an incomplete state. But what is being shown off looks really, really good. And bear in mind, this isn't just unfinished uh, footage that got leaked. It's also 
I think quite clearly bug testing and like um, like showing off bugs, that sort of footage. Because there's one particular uh, there's one particular video clip that shows off uh, I think a a walking animation, and the walking animation is obviously really janky, and the character model gets all twisted up as part of this short clip. And obviously that was never meant to be seen by the public. That is a bug being shown off internally, and I think what's happened there is some developer said, oh look, I've found this bug. Uh, let me show it off, let me capture a clip of it and put it in our in our Slack channel or whatever, our Discord or whatever we use to communicate. And then we can add a like, you know, a job ticket to address this bug and, you know, others are able to then recreate it from this footage. So this was never meant to be seen in this state. Because not only is it unfinished, it's also deliberately and by design showing off the the least complete parts of it. Like this whole internal process is not meant to be a case of hey look how good the game looks you know it's not it's not a trailer it's not meant to be a trailer obviously uh it's a case of hey i think this needs tweaking or you know hey this here is clearly wrong and we need to uh create a new book ticket for it or something holy crap look at that wow i think we've seen this bridge before but wow Norway, man, I love it. I do think Scandinavia might be my favourite part of the base game. I don't know, I've not been around an awful lot of it. I've obviously started in the UK and explored the Scandinavian territories when that DLC first came out. Oh yeah, sorry, it's not the base game, it is it is DLC. But yeah, I haven't, for instance, I don't think I've ever been down into Spain. And the Iberia territory that guided by that DLC. I think our current journey takes us into Roex territory. I think. I don't know. Once I've added the mod and I've taken a look at the map, I barely know where, like, the, um, the base game, pro mods, and other mod territory ends and begins. It all just sort of meshes together. But anyway, that GTA 6 leak, it looks really good. I think, um... What you can glean from it, and you can glean some stuff from it, is pretty impressive. There's, uh, oh dear. I think there are a couple of clips that focus on, like, the enemy AI, and in particular how they use cover, and it looks to me like they've made some huge improvements to the AI in that area. Like, there's one clip in particular which is in, not in the um, city environment itself, not in the actual world environment, but in a, like, a dev environment. So all of the um, textures there are development textures. And you've got this, I think it was a police officer model, that they've got uh, walking while strafing back and forth along a wall. And the wall changes height in front of the police officer, and it shows how that character model, how the AI, responds to different heights of cover in front of it. If the cover is very high, then they'll basically be stood almost up straight, right? Up, entirely upright. Uh, and firing over the wall from, you know, above chest height. Whereas as the cover gets lower, they will begin to crouch beneath it. And as the cover gets, you know, 
even lower still, they'll crouch further and further until it's not worth them crouching anymore because they can't strafe at that height. Uh, it's it's too uncomfortable and it's not worth them trying to take cover behind like a, a wall that is an inch high, basically. And I thought that's really that's really clever, adaptive AI. No, not going that way. We're going this way. We are still, in fact, following this Scott Lee truck ahead. Apart from that, you had uh, the main clip that's been making the rounds on Twitter, where I saw it, was the um, there's a bit of gameplay where you've got them playing as one of the playable characters, and I don't know if. Yeah, okay, so we're going to get into maybe spoilers for the game a bit. And if you don't want to hear anything about GTA 6, uh, spoiler-wise, then maybe, you know, skip this. But we're going to... Well, you know, we're going to go back to Vice City, which I've always thought was the best thing to do for GTA 6, because 6 in Roman numerals is VI, it just makes sense. You go back to V-I-C-E, v Vice City, you know? Uh, so I always predicted we were going there, and it appears that that is the case from this leak, and from a previous leak that happened. But I've always sort of been certain of that anyway, because it just, it, it's what made sense after doing, uh, after doing Los Santos in GTA 5. I think Vice City is the one we haven't been back to in the longest time. Because there was Liberty City in GTA 4, then there was, there was, you know, basically San Andreas again in... GTA 5, and Vice City we haven't seen since GTA Vice City, which came before San Andreas. Actually, no, we've seen it in, there was a Vice City Stories as well, came after Vice City, but I never played those, the Stories games. I never played Chinatown Wars either. I really wanted to, but I, I didn't have a DS at the time. So we're going back to Vice City, it looks like, and there's going to be a... There's going to be, it looks like, two playable characters. One male, one female. And... We don't know much more about the story than that. I think the early rumour was that it was going to take place in the 80s, or even earlier, maybe the 70s. But from what we've seen, I don't think that's the case, actually. I think it's I think it's modern day Vice City, which I think is probably the right choice. We'll see. I mean, there's nothing to really pin down a uh, a time period specifically, but there was in the footage for for the leaks. There was a the character seems to get a notification at one point from an app called WhatsApp, which is pretty obviously a parody of WhatsApp. So. That would place it firmly in this decade. Or, or last decade. I don't know how long WhatsApp has been around, but, you know, 2010s, 2020s. So it's got to be quite up to date. Are we turning right here? Apparently so. That's a nice bike. Right? Yeah. I like a sports bike. I like a sports bike. I also like a like a like a muscle bike. Is that what they're called? Like a Harley? You know what I mean? Never been fan of a dirt bike. They always it's the sound of them. I think it's grating. I don't like it. But obviously they're good for the sport, which is incredible, and the people who do that are so talented. Actually, a dirt, uh, yeah, speaking of GTA, a dirt bike was my favourite vehicle to drive in uh, GTA Vice City, in fact. Because you could drive it anywhere. You could drive it on the roads, on the grass, on the beach. It would still work really well. Dirt bike was really good. Getting ready to... I think we must be getting a ferry here or something, right? Turn right, and then continue straight on. 
right here. Oh yeah. Now when you say straight on... Oh, it's because I can't get in that way. Ooh, oh. It's okay, no damage done apparently. Look at that. It's rare that you get around the side of one and get to see the uh, the full object, isn't it? There we are. Easy does it. So where we are uh, the only place we can go. So uh, yeah, there's a clip that's been doing the round. Hang on. It didn't start me in the ship, did it? That's unusual. I think. I've gotten so used to sort of just being dropped off. Um and having to, you know, back, back out of the ship and whatnot. Okay, so, GTA 6, this clip that's been doing the rounds is of a hold-up of, like, a... like a cafe or restaurant. They're holding up this place, and, um... This is the main thing that people have been commenting on. You've got commenters on Twitter going, oh, wow, it looks so unfinished. Or, yeah, of course it looks unfinished. But they're holding this place up and they are... I forgot what I was even going to say about this originally. But the, the, the player, in this case, is holding the place up and there's a countdown on the screen, counting down to the police response. And the player is just sort of idling going around the cafe and idling and obviously from you know people responding to this who are saying uh, <laughs> wow can this person even play games is one of the things that has been seen said about it on Twitter uh, yeah they can they make games they're you know part of the development process the thing is they're not trying to like beat a level or anything they're not trying to oh that scared me they're showing off a specific function, and mainly for internal use, right? They were... it looks to me like they were testing the police response time, which is why there's the, the police response countdown and why they're idling and just wandering around the cafe not doing very much. They're not trying to, you know... They're not trying to play the game and beat a mission or anything, they're trying to show off a specific feature and uh, whether or not it needs any tweaking or changing or whether it's bugged or something. So of course it looks unfinished and of course it's got a weird UI because it's got the developer UI and whatnot. And I just I cannot believe some of the things people are... like saying in response to seeing these leaks. Like, oh it's unfinished or oh this person obviously can't play games. It's, This isn't, this isn't a let's play of a finished game. It's an unfinished game and it's a development test, you know? That scene, incidentally, that was uh, on Twitter looked really good. Um, like, it looks like it's showing off what, um, what GTA V had as well where you could hold up certain little... You could hold up certain little shops in GTA 5. And GTA 6... It looks like you can hold up a cafe, sort of Pulp Fiction style. Rob the till and rob all of the patrons in the cafe as well. And as you're doing so, you know, you've got a certain... countdown initiated until the police arrive. I think... What I think they'll probably do, Rockstar, is... Uh, that will be a feature in the game. Maybe, maybe it won't. Like, this is, you know, development stuff, so 
features like that might not even make it into the finished product. But if they do, I'd imagine they'd get rid of the uh, the, the on-screen countdown to when the police arrive. And instead, in place of it, put in just like environmental cues. Like you'll hear the sirens of police in the distance getting louder and louder as they come. And that will be your, you know, your two to one minute warning there instead of the, the on-screen timer. But they're obviously, they've got that timer on screen for uh, debug purposes. But I think it shows that they are, or they have a focus on more detailed and richer uh, sort of ambient gameplay experiences, right? Because GTA 5 was really good, and the heists in GTA 5 were really good, but the heists themselves were what? At the end of the day, they were what? They were five one-off missions um, with a lot of detail, and each one could be done one of two ways, so you ultimately had, what, ten ways? Uh, ultimately, yeah, two variations per heist, so ten heists total, sort of. Five based heists with two variants each, basically. Uh, so they tried to create richer gameplay through that than, say, GTA 4 had had, or even, you know, because GTA 4 was a lot more like GTA's 3 Vice City and San Andreas in its sort of mission structure and whatnot. The only way in which it sort of tried to enrich the world was through. God, are you gonna? Do I just keep forcing you backwards? Go on, go ahead. The only way in which GTA 4 really seems to have tried to enrich the world was by uh, really focusing in on relationships in the game, which GTA 5 abandoned entirely in favor of these heists and just having. I think a lot more things to do in the world in general. And with GTA 6, it looks like they're trying to build more on the concept of petty crimes. Which is good. Anything that makes the world feel a little bit more immersive, you know what I mean? I'm trying to think if there's anything else that was really interesting in this uh, in this leak. There was the earlier leak as well, which was just details uh, that most of which, like I say, seem to have come to fruition. Like there is going to be a female protagonist alongside a male protagonist, it's going to have, again, like like GTA 5 had, it's going to have multiple protagonists. Oh my god, that was a Pringles van. That's cool. I would also like to get into that lane if I can. Yeah. You get a male and a female protagonist. It's going to be set in Vice City. I think it doesn't look like it's going to be set in the um, the 70s slash 80s or whenever the leak said it might be. Oh, another thing that the um, the initial leak, the uh, the the one that was just all text. One thing it said was that almost all interiors were going to be accessible, and this is one of the things that made me think, oh, that's that's got to be a fake leak, right? Because that sounds... Not that it sounds impossible, it doesn't sound impossible. You could definitely do it with, um... Like, if you used procedural generation to generate your interiors based on a bunch of static assets, then you could just about get away with it, but you'd start to see a lot of repetition. Unless they had a large enough pool of static assets to build from, which... Yeah, maybe they do. 
I just thought it was unrealistic in that it doesn't really, um... For every interior that you add, you have to add... That's an extra little bit of world detail that itself needs additional levels of detail. Like, what is this interior even used for? Is it a shop? Is it a home? Is it an office? So I thought that sounded a bit unrealistic. I mean, I'm all for it if that's if that's something that they want to do. Why is this bus going so slow? But it sounded unrealistic because it's it's quite a big task for I don't know how much gameplay it actually offers. Well, we could speculate actually. So Let's, yeah, now that we've seen some leaked footage and we've seen a cafe being held up and with all this talk I was uh, getting out before of um, them really trying to enhance the petty crime aspect of the game. Maybe, you know, they've got holding up of cafes and restaurants and banks and, I don't know, post offices. And then... Uh, on top of that, uh, home invasions and, uh, well, I don't know how offices would play into that, right? Could you rob stationery from an office or something? I don't know. But you can think of gameplay aspects that could be added for each kind of interior. Home invasion or holding up a store. Maybe they're going all out with interiors because they already have a good system like that in place for it? Or maybe not. I don't know, man, I'm excited, I'm excited. This is the first we've heard of GTA 6 in a while. Rockstar have not officially said anything themselves. This is entirely two leaks and um, that's bad for the developers, obviously. In fact, it's bad for the public too. Like. It's bad for public perception and it's clearly bad for a lot of gamers who were interested in GTA 6 because they get to see this footage and a lot of them don't understand what they're seeing and are complaining that it's a unfinished game or that it looks bad or that it looks buggy even, right? Oh dear. Does everybody want to get ahead of me? I've been told far too late that I need to keep right. Come on. Come on, come on, let's, uh, all the way now, can I... Actually, I can take this lane, that's fine. Oh. Yeah, so a lot of people don't understand the development process. I saw someone saying it didn't look good enough. It's got to be fake because it doesn't look good enough. It's got to be fake because it's not... This is not up to the standards of Rockstar. And it's like... Dude, you realize they didn't put this out themselves. You realize this is not a finished product. This is not a trailer. This is not a, even a teaser. This was not put out deliberately. This is internal, early development stuff. They can't just go from having the idea for GTA 6 to having a really polished product in, you know, overnight. There's gonna be parts that don't look good because they are actively working on it. The level of detail that Rockstar put into their games too, like, a lot of people didn't like Red Dead Redemption 2. I, I liked it, I, I thought it was great, but they put so much detail into that into like every animation, which yeah, I do think is excessive. <laughs> like the horse's testicles change size depending on the temperature of the environment. Somebody noticed that Rockstar programmed that into the game. That's unnecessary. <laughs> but that's the level of detail that Rockstar aim for. And they did the same with GTA 5, GTA 5 surpassed expectations to the extreme. In fact, GTA San Andreas, which is going a long ways back now, 
That's a crazy amount of detail for a uh, for a PS2 game. I went back and played them recently, GTA 3, GTA Vice City, I finished those two and then I was getting started on GTA San Andreas and I was playing it the same way that I'd played GTA 3 and GTA Vice City. Uh, I was playing it, um, yeah, playing through some of the levels and then going hunting for hidden packages. I eventually just sort of ran out of time for GTA San Andreas because it's so much. There's so much to do in terms of hidden packages. And that's just such a big game by comparison to those other two. And the detail as well, as I was saying, the world detail, the fact that you can go and you can you can eat enormous quantities and make CJ fat, or you can uh, go and work out regularly and keep CJ in good physical shape, or or you can you know do neither and CJ will get really skinny. That was uh, an excessive amount of detail to have in a PS2 game, but they did it. You could also drive the train back in that game and you couldn't in GTA 5, I'm still mad about that. I should be fine in this lane, shouldn't I? It looks like... But yeah, with um, GTA 6 now being years after GTA 5, and in fact years after Red Dead Redemption 2 as well, they've got to once again up the ante in terms of those world details and making it truly immersive and whatnot. My, yeah, what I've, what I've wanted them to do, ever since thinking it's got to be Vice City again, is uh, I've wanted them to do Vice City which is based on Miami. But then I want them to extend into more rural Florida, which they're going to. However, I would have liked them to have also featured Orlando and also, is it Cape Canaveral in Florida? Where the, um, where the, the space center is? Because I think those two places would be really interesting. Not necessarily Orlando itself, but you could get away with not having a, uh, a fictional version of Orlando, so long as you had a fictional parody version of Disney World. That's what I think would be really interesting to feature in a uh, GTA Vice City remake. Would be, sorry, not remake, a, a new GTA based on Vice City. Would be to have a Disney World-like place there, uh, based on some of the characters we've seen in the past in the game, like. Um, uh, is it Pogo the monkey? God, I don't remember much about Pogo the monkey. Pogo the monkey comes to mind and I just think GTA 3. I think GTA 3 2001 playing it when I was 11 years old, wow. Rockstar have got all their own parody characters who they've built up over the years, like uh, they've got a parody of Master Chief as well, don't they? I think it would be great to have their own parody Disney World in the game. Based somewhere in a fictional Florida, which is exactly what Vice City, well, GTA 6 is going to be. As well as which I just think Cape Canaveral will be interesting like what's out there in the space center right the um the launches take place from florida right the shuttle launches i mean rocket launches and whatnot they all take place out of florida not texas not houston texas houston's just where mission control is I just think it would be cool to let's let this pass by first. Look at the lights on that, that's incredible. You stay back please, thank you. 
I think it would be cool to have, well, to first of all, to be able to see, uh, you know, see a large rocket or shuttle in game at like a space center or something. Because I've never been myself, but I really want to. Uh, I'd love to visit Florida and go to uh, the space center there and see the decommissioned shuttle, which is, I've been told, and I think I've seen in photos, it's enormous. It truly is enormous. It's in this huge hangar, and it, the scale of it is gigantic. So I'd love to, for them to feature that in game, which is just like an environmental detail. But as well as that, it would be cool to have a mission that had something to do with cocking about with some space mission, right? Like, that would be some silly Grand Theft Auto antics to... to have in the game, I think. Ooh, we're yawning. Yeah, I've been aware of my, uh... requiring sleep for a little while now. We'll overtake these. Next opportunity to sleep, I think we're gonna call it a video here. I'll pull back into this lane. I will not. I will, in fact, start accelerating again because they're in front of me now and they don't care. All right, we've got 30,000 euros. Can't remember how much this job said it was going to be paying, but... Should be a huge amount, a pretty significant amount for the, uh, the distance we're covering here. I just keep glancing at my sat nav because I know, I know, I know I need to be on the lookout for services, hotels, anything like that. We could, even if we wanted to, turn off into the nearest... Oh my god, what's this? Wait, what's this? I... I don't understand what's just happened. The, uh... The road split into two distinct tunnels, and I, I am, I'm very confused. And... I just re... Remerging, apparently. Well, that's very weird. So I don't know how long a, how long a wait this still is for GTA 6. Like Rockstar haven't announced it. So officially, this is an unannounced game. Ooh, uh, I probably don't want to be in this lane if that's turning off towards a town, unless it looks like there might be... Oh my god. No, we're going to keep on. Hopefully a service station comes up soon. There's no sense turning off that way if, if we have no guarantee that there's a service station very, very soon we are now in desperate need of. These signs also aren't pointing towards service stations. A lot of roads crossing over here, but still nothing in... Nothing I need on the uh, on the little sat nav. I also don't know how to change the view of the sat nav from my current position. I should look into that because that would be useful to do sometimes. As in, right now, if I'm trying to search the world for a 
hotel and a petrol station. It's always the way as well, isn't it? You see so many service stations when you feel like you don't need them. And then as soon as you do, none. None for the longest time. So I don't know, would you like to see GTA 5 on the channel modded as well? I was gonna... Ah, now here's the issue. I've got it, I've got the Epic Games version because... Uh, well, we owned it on PS4. And then it, at some point it became free on Epic Games and I picked it up there. I don't know how moddable that version is compared to the Steam version. But I would like to play it with mods because I've played the base game through already anyway. And I... There's a bunch of, um... Mods that, like, generally improve the, uh... Like, the police response and stuff like that. Like, enhance the AI. So I think I'd like to play that through. There's also a... A very large mod that lets you play as... The LAPD. Oh, dear. And I think... That might be cool to check out at some point as well. Get ready to turn right. In fact, maybe I'll do that first of all. Yeah, why were you in that lane, mate? Okay. Oh, wait, I need to go in here. Pretty sure. We need to find the uh, the truck parking, which appears to be down at the bottom end. We can also get gas here. Maybe we get that on the way out. That's got no entry. Oh god. Let's go around the outside then. We'll get gas on the way out. Oh, I was going to talk about a bunch of other stuff as well, like, um... My plan for Wednesday is to start a new game. Rather than it being a truck sim, as has been the case for the longest time, we're going to start a new series on Wednesday. Uh, but I guess I've run out of time to talk about that, so... Let's just turn off the engine and get some rest. And then do a little bit of admin and call an episode here. What admin might we need to do? We haven't checked on our drivers since I started back playing. So you're focusing on just-in-time delivery, which is fine. Dave is still focused on long distance. Now you should you should change into... That's fragile, that's, that's just-in-time. So you should focus on um, high value, please. Now that you've filled out long distance. As for Pavel, Pavel, you can just keep focused on long distance. Have you made any money yet, by the way? You have not. You've in fact lost money taking a bunch of empty pallets from Oslo to Turku. That's okay. That's okay. Your performance will improve over time, I'm sure. I'm sorry, how is Jacob... Jacob, how are you averaging zero as well? There's no way. You've got this amazing amount of profit here. Why are you showing zero euros per mile, zero euros per day in terms of what you... Um... Okay, but that's, uh, that's everybody respect there anyway. Let's go to the garage manager. Like, you should be doing fine, right? 100% productivity for that one. 0% for that one because you're losing money. Yeah, okay. We're doing fine. How much have we covered just before? We We've done a fair whack at that, haven't we? Oh yeah. Maybe two more episodes, maybe... 
maybe three. But we're heading, I believe we're heading into the Roex territory because I think that's, um, that's all of this bit down here. Anyways, thank you very much for joining me for this. Uh, I'll catch you again on the next one next Monday. Thank you very much. And ta -ra.